Hello, I'm Alexandra Baradelli, a student from the College of the Holy Cross. Today, I will be introducing the seal of Henry of Flanders, which although very small, effectively establishes both power and identity through religious connections and military pursuits. I will explore just how meaningful a seal such as this one would be for a man of great power during the Crusades. This seal belonged to the second Latin emperor of Constantinople, Henry of Flanders. The term Latin here refers to the Crusaders who use Latin in their Christian rites. So the Latin emperor of Constantinople means the Crusader emperor. Constantinople is the city now known as Istanbul in Turkey. Not too long before Henry began his reign as emperor, the Crusaders leading the Fourth Crusade shifted their attention from attacking the Holy Land to conquering the Byzantine Empire, whose capital was in Constantinople. Leading up to this conquest, the Byzantine Empire was already suffering in many problems, primarily the lack of control among their territories. The leaders of the Fourth Crusade, one of whom was Count Baldwin of Flanders, the future Latin emperor and older brother of Henry, established the Pact of March 1204 in an attempt to create some unified political state. The Crusader attacks on Constantinople were passionate and fervent, and in April 1204, the Byzantine Greeks ruling in Constantinople were expelled by the Crusaders. The Crusaders founded the New Latin Empire and named Baldwin of Flanders as their first emperor. Even though this was a massive feat, the empire would only last until its fall less than a century later in 1261. The second Latin emperor of Constantinople, Henry of Flanders, played a role in leading the Fourth Crusade and is attributed to many victories before and during his reign. His reign lasted from 1206 to 1216, and so that means his seal was made and used during that period. This lead seal has two sides, the obverse side here on the left and the reverse side on the right, with images on each side and a diameter of 47 millimeters. On the obverse side of the seal, there's a central image and circular inscription. The inscription, found between a double border of dots, reads in Greek, Edikos despotes, and in English is Henry despot, which means someone of great power like an emperor. In this image, you can see the emperor sitting on a throne decorated with animal heads, possibly lions. He wears a crown and imperial garments. In his right hand, he holds a scepter with a cross on top of it. In his left hand, he holds a globus cruciger, also known as the orb and cross, which is a symbol of religious authority. The reverse side of the seal also has a circular inscription, this time in Latin reading, Henricus Dei Gratia Imperator Romani. In English, this is Henry, by the grace of God, Emperor of the Roman realm. The combination of Greek on one side and Latin on the other side was intended for the dual audience of this seal, both Latin-speaking crusaders and Greek-speaking members of the former Byzantine Empire. In this image, the emperor is wearing armor on horseback. In his right hand, he holds a sword, and in his left hand, a shield. He looks chivalric and successful as he is in motion on horseback, fighting for his empire. This seal takes on particular importance in the context of the Crusades. First, the religious connections promote a sense of divine authority for the emperor, as evident in the image on the obverse side as well as the inscription on the reverse side. Throughout the previous Byzantine Empire and newly founded Latin Empire, the emperor was the ultimate authority in the eyes of God. Seals such as this one would authenticate imperial documents, but also function as divine legitimization. This seal connects visually to one of the Chersey tiles, the one showing Richard the Lionheart with surrounding text. Richard's tile roundel is very similar to the reverse side of the seal. In both cases, we see an armed ruler mounted on horseback, carrying a shield, presumably heading into battle. This kind of imagery was very common on seals, and it may be that Richard's tile drew on a similar image of Richard himself mounted and armed on his own seal. An additional similarity is that both Henry's seal and Richard's tile are surrounded with Latin text stating their title, By the Grace of God. The Crusader Emperor, Henry of Flanders, describes himself, by means of his seal, as a ruler with divine authority and a successful military hero. Richard the Lionheart's tile and seal similarly characterize him as a divinely approved ruler and military leader, and indeed Crusaders and many men across Europe and beyond laid claim to these qualities.